Hi, Pam Dyson with the St. Louis Center for Play Therapy Training, where we provide affordable continuing education for play therapy credentialing. I'm here today in my playroom and doing what I do when I'm in here frequently, and that's sit on the floor. Um, most therapists have a chair they sit in. I sit on the floor, kind of like it that way. It's an excuse for me to play sometimes too. Today I'm going to share a um, technique with you called the magic carpet. I went to, um, I believe it was Walmart, and where they um, carry all their doormats and rugs, they had this um, very inexpensive doormat. It's not very heavy duty. Um, it was about $5, maybe even a little bit less, and it was a nice solid color, which I liked. Brought it back to the office, got out some gold sparkly paint, and um, some star-shaped cookie cutters that I traced around with the gold paint. And then I just did some other little squiggles and designs to kind of make it look kind of magical and something that you might envision um, floating up in the sky. And so when you have a child who has a lot of challenges in their world, things that they would certainly like to see different, um, chances are we can't really change what's going on in the child's world, but we can certainly give that child the feeling of um, managing some of those feelings that are associated with things in their world that aren't going so well right now. So we'll put the magic carpet down on the floor, we'll sit on it, we'll sit around it, whatever they wanna do, um, and we'll go on a magic carpet ride. And where does the magic carpet go? They could come up with a scenario. Are we soaring way up above? Are we looking down on what's going on below? You know, sometimes when you rise above your problems and your challenges, they might seem a little bit more manageable. So we can float, we can sail, we can soar to places, soar to places like neighborhoods of make-believe or where things are better, where things are different. It can, they can use your imagination and make it be whatever they want it to be. So in addition to using the magic carpet, they also might want to include a genie lamp. Um, maybe we're gonna take the genie along on the magic carpet ride. Maybe the genie is going to be the one that's um, directing our journey on the magic carpet. And a lot of children are aware of that if there's a genie and there's a magic lamp, there's probably some wishes. So we can learn what might their wishes be if they had some. Maybe they want to pretend they're a wizard and wear a wizard hat as well. What about a magic wand? Might that be part of the magic carpet journey? It very well may be. Um, even a magician's wand might be a part of that as well. So you could even use paper towel tube to make a wand. I've always got plenty of those here in my playroom. A child could certainly make it be whatever direction they want it to be. So a great way for them to sort of pull some, from some inner resources of solving problems, soaring above their problems. If it's magical, if it's mystical, what might it look like for them? So a great way for them to feel like they've got some power and some control over some situations in their life. So. Get yourself a magic carpet if you don't have one and um, see what kind of journeys the children that you work with take you on.